so I came across this 40 volt XGT um, 4 amp hour Makita power pack. Uh, when I, for whatever reason, it stopped charging, and when you hit the little button, the two uh, lights blinked green, and then two alternating uh, back and forth. And uh, what I should and should have done is sent it back. The warranty is uh, three years replacement for these batteries. Um, very good, very good warranty. But um, I figured I'd make a video instead. A video of what is inside these things and how do they look and uh, their quality. And let's just say, for instance, I wanted to fix it myself. Hypothetically, of course, because this, these are very dangerous cells. You don't really, if you don't know what you're doing, not saying I do, I wouldn't be messing with these things. So again, disclaimer, these are very dangerous to work with. So, with that all said, I opened it up, okay? And it came with this BMS and charger on top of this, okay? So you have to, you ha I had to peel this back. I would suggest using nylon fries uh, because of course it's all, conductive if you use something metal and take a look at that that is beautiful Co this looks like it's copper this looks like it's at least uh, 0.2 millimeters thick of uh, I don't know if it's aluminum oh, I didn't focus on no nah, it's not aluminum this is nickel it's got to be nickel um, but I uh, did not test it but that that is very good quality um, and you can see the, the temperature gauges or strips uh, that go get fed into this um, and into one there's a couple of slots here that it does it's, it's very good quality now uh, when you take this out uh, you'll notice that the when the batteries are in there you've got these 20 I think they're 21 700 batteries I'll, I'll if, if they're not I'm gonna update the description uh, but these are the batteries that are in there Okay, you have 21,700 lithium batteries, a little fatter than your average um, uh, 18,650. So that's, they hold a little bit more. I tested them and they all tested out. This is, was, had already been about three, uh, one year in use. So it was within a warranty, uh, but uh, for educational purposes, we went ahead and then we took it apart. So they all fit around 3,300-ish um, amp hour milliamps of, um, of, of, of reserve. So the nice thing about these is when I took them out, they had silicone, silicone gasketing on top as opposed to like just cardboard that I've normally seen. The bottom has this extra gasketing here. I'm sure this is adhesive added onto after. You're going to see these scratch marks here. And what I did is I dremeled them very carefully, tried not to take any excess off so that I can get a nice flush finish at the bottom. Why? Why did I do that? Well, I wanted to test out this AliExpress um, alternative. This is with taxes and everything shipped. I think it was about 26, 20, $28. And it comes with all these little uh, nickel nickel strips. I didn't test them. Um, I saw some reviews. It said it did worked great. It worked on the original charger. So we're gonna go ahead and, and go with this pack. We're gonna stress test this and see how well it came, how well it does rather. It comes with that, this, inside this little baggie. All of it comes into in a small little box. Um, as such and we have here all these strips right well, what the hell is all this for so there's three angled strips and they both say, all of them say positive do disregard that please um, there's about five straight there's there's a one of these uh, bridged ones uh, without any thing any BMS now that I think about it uh, they all should have this kind of a strip because it works on the BMS. All these, I would assume, get 
connected in whatever configuration onto this BMS and that it will help it balance and not only balance but but charge and, and protect protect it. Um, it did not come with well I guess this might be the temperature uh, the verification thing. Yeah, it kind of, yeah, that's what it is for the te temperature protection mode. I would assume if, it, if the cells get too hot, it'll shut it off as it should. Um, all that is speculation, that, but that's normally what, how these work. There's, I didn't find any specs on this board. But if you do, go ahead and, um, and let me know what, what you think. Again, not an expert, just doing this for educational purposes. Um, or, you know, just tinkering. Let's call it tinkering. So, it comes with this little label thing. Um, this piece that I'm sure it goes in to push this up. We'll get to that. Absolutely no instructions on here on how to build this. So here's where the battery is inside. And I use the original um, insulators here, ring, ring insulators. Um, and I started kind of messing around with the configuration. What's gonna help is it has these little rails and these positives, what I thought looked to be positives are actually slots that will fit in and hold the plates in place um, and we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna solder them together and then this last one i have to put a jumper or a uh, wire so that it connects to the bmf or else that's not going to work um as it should so we'll see here all right all finished welding it have uh, my 801H, as I mentioned before, I filled it with uh, 5.9 volts, so um, higher than with the 5.6. That's supposed to hit 6.0, but it's all right. 25T energy grade. And here's how it looks, very sturdy. Um, I went ahead and I s put some, some uh, flux, put some flux on here, soldered it, tinned it, um, and put this copper wire. Uh, it's got a little slot here to go under, and uh, that's for uh, the bounce connection. And there's where all the notches are. These have nice little top notches that hold it in place so you know where it needs to go. Um, the other side, just straight connections, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and here's a voltage readout. It's horrible readout. There it is. Trying to do this one hand is very difficult. 41.5. Beautiful. Okay. Now, here it is all assembled with the um, Capcom tape, whatever the heck it's called. Um, <laughs> all the way around. This gave me a little scare. I'm not going to lie. So you put it in, I put the copper, the copper wire up into the small slot, right? So you don't know, but that if it has connections on all ends until you start soldering through. So solder, 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 finally get to this one and it gave me a nice little spark. Almost peed myself, almost. Um, and then it just didn't want to give me a light when I pushed the button. I thought, oh my God, I fried it. I must have not seen something and just fried the heck out of it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just keep going. I'll just put my safety glasses on <laughs> and uh, made good connections on all, except here. I think I might put a little bit more solder on that. Let me see here. And uh, yeah, I got a, got all lights it's a beautiful thing oh my god all right let's put it together here it is in the pack i put some fish paper on the side on top of the already um or, or the, the cap ton rather captain cap it's that high high heat tape um that helps uh helps insulate and um, this comes with the kit 
Uh, and now uh, this also comes, I still haven't figured out how to put this together, but it looks as if it falls in here like that nicely. So let's put, put it on. I already set this. I need to put the, uh, the little tape there. Um, and if it flushes and if um, put the four screws in, it should be good. So far, so good. Here's how it looks on top. I put this screw here that came with it, the short two screws. Not a lot of stuff in this package, but uh, and a lot of uh, assumptions um, on their part for you to have the enough knowledge to put it together. So I'll just throw that out there <laughs> um, and see how it looks. I ended up putting it on top of the BMS board. It sits perfectly like that. So that's how it is. All right, here's the the new kit, new and improved. Uh, um, I, I I will say I'm more impressed with the original's quality. It's got way more screws, screwing screwing down the battery pack case to the board this i put this together just because you know but uh it, it feels heavy and with you know it's nice and packed in there it's nothing's loose so uh you know let's uh let's put it on the charger and see if it takes on the original charger all right let's try it out i believe it goes right here and then end That is, I don't know what that means. All right, I think it's done. I, I just put it on there, try to figure out why the, what the blue meant. The blue was almost charged and green. It's, it's good, it's legit.